we're back out on the bass buggy, and today we're talking about a new way to rig your soft plastic baits that's so simple and so effective, it's amazing someone didn't come up with it sooner. Stick around. Welcome back to Lowbrow Fishing. And you know, if there's one way to rig your soft plastic baits, then there's a hundred ways to rig your soft plastic baits. You've got shaky heads, you've got drop shots, you've got Carolina rigs, you've got the good old Texas rig. But every once in a while, something comes along that's so simple and so effective. And you think to yourself, why didn't somebody come up with this sooner? And today, we're going to be showing you that. I've heard people calling it the Carolina light. I've heard people call it the baby Carolina. Now, full disclosure here, I need to preface this by saying I did not come up with this. I've seen guys like Mikey Balls and other anglers doing the same thing. And I essentially lifted it from them and tried doing a few things with it, working it around in the water and seeing what kind of fish I could catch. And I have to tell you, it is extremely effective. So what is this new way of rigging your soft plastic? Well, let's get right to it. First and foremost, you're going to have to take a bobber stop. That's right, a good old bobber stop. Then, you take a bullet weight. This here is a 3 16 ounce bullet weight. Just a regular lead bullet weight. That's all you need. Pretty simple so far, right? Now this is where the magic happens. This is the part where you have to pay attention. You put another bobber stop. That's right. That right there. You slide another bobber stop right up underneath that bullet weight. Now what does that do? That causes that bullet weight to hold into place. Then, of course, you take your worm hook and your favorite plastic and you put it on as normal. Does that look familiar? That looks like a Carolina rig, doesn't it? But this is so much better than a Carolina rig. Because I can take this and I can adjust it. I can make that way shorter if I wanted to. Or I can make it way longer. It works great. And as you can see, it works with a regular offset worm hook. Right here, I have one of my homemade open pour worms. The reason why I'm using this is because this doesn't have a lot of salt in it and it floats pretty good. And the reason why I want that is because I am fishing this like a Carolina rig. I'm dragging that bait along the bottom, trying to keep bottom contact. And when I stop, this bait will have a tendency to rise and I can shake it in place like I'm working a shaky head. Another thing that I can do is I can pull it all the way down and it's a regular Texas rig. You've got so many different presentations in this, it's not even funny. I can pull it up here and it doesn't take but just a second. And there it is. You can work this just like you would a Carolina rig or you can work it like you would a Texas rig. Or you can work it with the right plastic like a shaky head. It's very, very versatile, but the key feature here is being able to move that bullet weight up and down. Now, I have a 3 16 ounce bullet weight on here. You don't want to go much heavier than that, because if you start going 1 quarter or 3 eighths, then you're going to need to actually add another bobber stop up the top. Otherwise, that weight, whenever you cast it, will just slide up further and further. It'll push those bobber stops up and up, and it's going to mess up the action and how everything's supposed to work. So if you're working with a one quarter or a three eighths ounce or even a one half size bullet weight, add another extra bobber stop to the top. That'll keep things the way they're supposed to be. So this thing's so amazing. How does it fish, right? Is this another gimmick like the Enu rig? The thing that everybody talked about yet nobody seemed to be able to catch fish with? No, this catches fish. That's what really caught my eye with it. I saw guys like Mikey Balls showing it on their channel, and they were catching fish. I was intrigued, so I tried it myself, and I was catching fish. So, let me put my money where my mouth is. Let's go out on the water, and I'll show you how to fish this thing. Now, as you can see, I've got one of my open pour worms on there, and just a regular worm hook. Texas rigged, and it's going up to a 3 16 bullet weight that I've got pegged on both sides. Little baby Carolina rig. I've got it maybe 10 inches up. It doesn't have to be super high and we're going to be fishing here at the Little Lake today. 
and this is kind of how you work it. You kind of work it like a Carolina rig. We're going to go ahead and let it fall, let it soak for a minute, and then we're just going to kind of drag it and let it sit for a second. And just kind of drag it again. And that's the appeal of this, is you can fish it just like you would a Carolina rig. Now, that worm that I'm using on there is one of the worms that I make it kind of floats so it actually works pretty good I'm feeling the bottom composition but as I said as I pull that worm along it'll drag and I can feel <clears throat> that's grass but I can feel that bottom see I knew that weight had some grass on it that's what but the hook but the bait itself this bait actually sort of floats so every time I stop it it kind of floats up a little bit and I know it's coming up above that grass cast it out there again and let it sink let it soak for just a second and then work it like you would a Carolina rig just drag it along And every time it stops, that bait rises up just a little bit. And I'm not dragging it quick. I'm kind of doing slow drags with it like, like you would with a Carolina rig. And if you're a pond fisherman, if you're a bank fisherman, even if you're fishing from the boat, but I can see how it's working in the water, it actually has quite a bit of, it's got really good action to it. And it is very much like you would see a Carolina rig do, just on a much smaller scale. And you can use this to work along grass edges, along seams. You can find places in the, um, you can find brush piles. You can work it along structure along the bottom. Like I said, just let it soak, let it sink, let it soak. Let it do its thing. Then you can come along and let's say just give it a little bit of a drag. We're not trying to yank it along. We're just kind of easing it along. I want to feel that bottom composition. Very much to like how I would do something like a football jig. Or again, I'd, something like how I would do a Carolina rig. Just drag it along nice and easy. There we go, I'm on. Ooh, that's a good one too. Come on. Oh yeah, he went after it. Get up here, you. Well, he got my worm. Oops. I got him right in the top of the mouth, just like you like, but he got my worm. Uh, but there you go, that is the mini there we go oops and i hooked him again that is the mini or baby carolina rig you can see how successful that fish was let me make sure i'm actually there we go you can see how successful that fish was he hit it pretty good he hit it with some gusto he hit it with some oomph and you just work it like a regular uh regular carolina rig this fish is probably just shy of one pound, may, probably about three-quarter pound, but uh, beautiful fish. Works great. Didn't take long to get it. All right, little buddy, thank you so much for playing. You have yourself a great life. All right. All right, I have retied my... Baby Carolina. I've got a yum ribbon tail worm on there now. I'm just trying that out. 
I've got two bobber stops on the top of my weight and hopefully that will help hold it in place a little bit better. But apparently my finger's still sticking to the string. But we've let this water rest for about 30 minutes before trying to fish it again. Hopefully I'm not standing in any ants because I think that would suck. All right. See what this looks like in the water. We're going to see if uh, that will attract any attention. Wait for it to sink and then just slowly drag it along the bottom. That's the name of the game. This is more of a patience bait. And I'm trying to maintain that bottom contact. When I'm doing this, I'm trying to maintain bottom contact. So there you have it. The Carolina Light, the Baby Carolina, whatever you want to call it. It's a very versatile way to present your bait. And it's so simple to do. It's one of those things that come along that people say, why didn't anybody do that before? At least that's what I did. I've been working with it quite a bit lately. Probably a little bit too much. It's sort of my new favorite toy. But it's been catching fish, and I liked it so much, I decided to dedicate a video on it to let everyone out there know. It's really simple to do. Give it a try. I think you'll like the results. Thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.